if you if you take out all of the messages that he had in the beginning and then the credits it's under 10 minutes bro in man, under credit scenes yo credit <laughs> scenes my man this year put a fucking post credit in a 10 minute john <laughs> i mean it wasn't like crazy but it was like wow <laughs> wow, yeah, but but even that credit scene, even the end I know, credit it scene, was important. Was I, I know. like oh, it's because man said the cheetah. Dang, that's what it was, man. Like my, if you guys have not seen my reaction, which at this point I'm pretty sure it's like over twenty five thousand fucking views, which I can't even believe. But at this point, you know I'm starting to believe it though. What's up? You know, you know what's interesting about like that whole credit scene, because when I was watching it, I kind of expected. Like Broly to just be dead after that fucking super. Me too. Blast. But but he kept man's alive. I mean for the better, obviously. <laughs> well, wow. because that's crazy. Yeah, I mean it's just I, like, dude. There's. But now you have to understand, like Broly is, he has one he he has one arm now technically. But I mean, who knows if somebody uh gives him a little fucking. New little hand, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah. imagine? I don't know, bro. Nah, but I mean, I mean, th this is gonna be hyped up for a, a little, probably a little bit longer. But is it would it would be more hyped up if like we knew that I guess consistent episodes were gonna about to start kind of dropping, like whether it was monthly or uh -huh. bi-weekly or some shit like that but i mean that next episode that's we're probably not gonna get that for a while well let me you know what i'm glad you brought that up because i know that this is the full power podcast and we plug our own shit but on my channel this is the one dude that i've been plugging their shit immensely because i need more okay and like i said and i'm gonna do this right here y'all need to Look in the description, and there's going to be a link to their Patreon, okay? Because it is crucial that Stray Dog Studio turns into Adopted Dog Studio, okay? The <laughs> fandom needs to completely come together. And I can tell you, it's happening. It's, hap it's, not, it, you know, it's not like instant, you know? Because I'm not going to lie. Nasir is being way too humble. And I can tell you how he's being humble. He only has two tiers on his Patreon. A $1 and a $3. Usually mm. on Patreon pages, you see 5, 10. I mean, shit, we have a fucking uh, a 1, a 5, a 10, a 25, a 50, and a fucking 100, right? Bro, people would have definitely donated a 100. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Facts. I, would have con I literally would have considered. I mean, you know I'm moving home, so my money's fucking hella tight. Or non-existent, right? I would have considered at least that. But, like, I was surprised. I was like, three fucking dollars? Like, bro, I'm about to fucking sub on my personal and then on the through the full power at this rate. Just throw six at them. Double time. Let's, let's get it moving. You know? But when I subscribed, he was at 200 something dollars a month. Okay? Now, he's over 1500 and he has And he has four goals, right? The third goal... Is the is a two thousand dollar mark, right? But the fourth goal, if he gets the fifteen thousand, that means that he will at that point officially hire out his staff and pay them, and then they're going to have a true budget because you know all that godliness that we saw, that was only off of that was zero. for funsies. <laughs> that was for funsies at a zero dollar budget. And it took them four years. So with a true proper budget, let's get these fucking guys paid. So that way, we can continue to talk about Legend. Because let me tell you something. I would love... The best case scenario, I would love for this shit to become a regulated thing. That is... It just takes over the, this fucking show. Because honestly, Super... You know, it, it's a fresh of fucking breath air. I, bre bre I can't even fucking say it, right? I'm fucking a, fre a breath of fresh air, right? Because we're covering Super, right? We're covering anything Dragon Ball, really. Like anything that, they, that we can possibly talk about, we are doing. But now this exists. This is just like, this is like when Geekdom comes on. And he's 
acknowledging and validating everything that we already talk about and making us feel like okay we're really actually not you know crazy no matter how the fucking comment some people not everybody makes us fucking you know feel that sometimes you know dude legend has clearly made its mark and i i personally feel like there's no way toei has not seen this at all at yet at all oh that's that good shit